hey what's up guys welcome to my channel and today in this video we are going to look at actions that we can add to our tables so that there is more ways for us to interact with the records in every row so just to give you an example over here this edit is an action that we can perform on this particular row in this table right and this edit is a url type action but there are ways to add different kinds of action where you can you know this is a url action but we can take certain kinds of actions or rather create certain actions which will actually perform some database actions or stuff like that and that is what we are going to look at in this video so to create an action what we will do is come over here inside the table you can see we already have an edit action and in here we will add our own let's just say there is a hypothetical situation where as a admin I want two buttons one is to promote the student and second one is to demote the student okay just straightforward so why how do we do that we have global search no uh, table actions make let's just name it as promote and let's just have action like so and right i think th this this is um, enough for now and if i refresh right now it will break because it expects a closure and inside the closure i will have something like and I'll have the record available and now I think it should pass yes and can you see the promote button is visible over here I'll just take this one as the last action and refresh so you know, the sequence does change and now one important thing to note here is this particular item has to be record I'll show you why let's just say I do a records dump and if I could come over here and do something like this can you see this pop-up coming up where you know all these information is available right so basically what I'm trying to say is the record on promote is available inside the closure but the moment I do something like student and hit refresh click on it oops sorry not over there but rather here can you see the attributes are missing now i just read in some stack overflow post that you know it expects a record so right now i'm doing that I'm not sure why and you know at least for now we will go with this so i have this student what I can do is record that standard ID this is the property right so we can do standard ID plus one and then record save because it's an eloquent model so with this in place ideally if I now refresh and click over here can you see it changes to standard two if I go to edit I can see yes that's correct I can do standard 10 hit save oh yes d p s i need to change the cedar so that you know it becomes a proper one but yeah can you see this is kind of working now if i want i can also have one more action which is demote and I can do minus and that's only if record standard ID is greater than one kind of a situation okay this is done now let's see one small little thing which I can potentially add is um,
requires confirmation yeah okay and maybe one more and just to keep things interesting there is one more thing called color so this one is danger and this one is success there are multiple things as well for example you know you can have an icons and stuff like that but we will not go over there right now but these are the two buttons so nine I we get a confirmation model pop-up we say confirm it goes down to nine click again confirm goes to it promote click confirm goes to nine so as you can see with just a few lines of code, I immediately have this wonderful way of adding actions to the table where we can do stuff. Okay. And now I have these two buttons, but ideally it will clutter the table. So if I want, if I can create a drop down, it would have made much more sense. And that's what filament allows us to do. So I'll show you how that is done. I'll take all of these and do group action. I think it was action group or group action, something like that. Um, action group, make. Actions, sorry, it takes an array. It doesn't take any label. So I'll put that over here. And I'll take this edit thing as the first action because I'll refresh and show you. See, this drop down comes as two dots right so it now makes sense for the edit button to be first because if I don't do that it will look a bit odd you see that I mean these are end uh, these icons does you know, belong to the end of the row so you can do that and now we have a beautiful looking you know drop down where we can we have our action buttons right and you can add multiple over here so that you know, things work for you so yeah that's about it guys that's how we can have actions on individual rows of a table if you like this video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel